That is literally why people hated me so much because they felt like all I was doing was using auto tune and they can just use auto tune and make the same money. Why do they not rich <laughs> What's so special about this dark, stupid? Ruslan. Get into that, guys. My name is Ruslan, and this channel exists to encourage you to master mind your business to master's way. All right, now let's get into the video. T Pain hops on his live stream and addresses a controversy that causes him a lot of backlash, and it has strong overlap for many people who are desiring to pursue entrepreneurship, pursue building a business, pursue being an artist, all those sorts of things. But before we get into that, I gotta give you guys a heads up. Add your kids. And then you, when you get off of work, you gotta keep working on yourself and blah, blah, blah. Don't get off of work and then go to sleep like you ain't got nothing to work for for yourself. If you want something for yourself, you gotta work for it just like the CEO that got you to work for him did. Same, even if they got a handout, they got your ass to work for him, so he ain't gotta do that job. How the fuck are you gonna get your company big enough to convince somebody to do that job for you? To where you ain't gotta do that shit no more. Even if it's print. This is the controversial yep. clip that went mega viral that people said he's promoting uh, burnout. And so this is him addressing it. Mm. T-shirts. You gonna be printing T-shirts for the rest of your life? Or are you gonna get your company big enough to where there's people ordering thousands of T-shirts at a time, you just ain't got the time, so you just gonna, you just gonna, oh, I gotta grind, I gotta grind. No, you gonna build this up and hire new people, get them to do this for you, and you just gonna sit back and run the books. That's it, like, what the, I don't understand, bro, like, well, hopefully, if you're running a t-shirt company, you're doing more than just running the books. You're actually yeah, yeah, design, yeah. designing. As a matter of fact, or... we were working on designs <laughs> yeah. just a couple hours ago of stuff that I've been cooking up. And Zach came up, actually, with the idea on your hoodie right now, on your sweatshirt. Zach came up with that idea. I designed it. Living a Blessed God. So that's a part of our next show. So even if you have a successful business around merchandising and t-shirt, like you, you're not just kicking your feet up and, and running the books. Like yes. It's a little more complicated than that, but that's all right. Let's let them cook. They tell you that's what hard work is. You go through a 12 step program to go do, to go make somebody else money. So everybody like T-Pain promoting, for T-Pain's out there promoting uh, burnout, nobody knew who I was talking to because people was like, I got two jobs, that's hard work. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's hard work. But if you're complaining about yourself, if you're saying you got two jobs that can make somebody else money, but when you get home, all you're doing is being on Instagram complaining about why everybody else's life looks so dope, that's because you're not working on yourself. You're working making somebody else that Instagram life. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I was specifically speaking to the people that sit at home on the couch and complain about everybody else's life. If you ain't doing your so the the whole moral of my was if you don't like your situation do something about it if you're completely content with making ends meet doing your job going home being able to eat being able to feed who you got to feed that's totally fine but if on the this is so good because what he's saying is and here's a scriptural tie-in believe mm -hmm. it or not is if you are content with where you're at fine cool right Work a job, come home, cook dinner, hang out with your family. Yep. Do it all over again. He's making the distinguishment that there are people who are complaining, mm -hmm. but are spending, on average, the average American spends 30 hours a week watching Netflix or television. Those two ideas are incongruent. You shouldn't complain and waste a part time job of hours and then continue complaining. Right, you either got to learn to be content and live on less, mm -hmm. or you got to learn to figure it out and go do more. Yep. Right. One one of those two. Preferably, you do both. Preferably, you decrease your overhead by getting out of debt and paying down your bills, so that your overhead is less, and you increase your income. Preferably, right. But I think T Pain is cooking here. Yeah. Go ahead. You're complaining about why you're not making more money and why you're not doing it. If you're complaining about that, that's up to you to change that now. Just because you put all your time into a job that you hate, and I commend people that can do that. Get up and do a job they hate just to, just to make it work, that's cool. If you're not willing to do anything outside of that, you can't complain about what's happening outside of that. If you're not willing to change that situation, then don't don't get pissed off at me because I was. That is literally why people hated me so much because they felt like all I was doing was using auto tune and they can just use auto tune and make the same money. Why the f they not rich? Banks? <laughs> What's so special about this dark, stupid? Look, that's why people f hated me so much because they felt I was doing something so simple that they could. So why the f aren't they as rich as me? But they don't understand the parts of the outside that goes with doing shit on your own and making your own independent choices and shit like that. Because even on that post, somebody was like, "Didn't you work for a record label? Wasn't that your nine to five? And I was like, "Yes." But now, guess what? I'm independent because while I was doing that shit, making them people that money, I was working on getting my own shit. And now I don't have to work for them anymore. Just like if you got a nine to five, that's your first investment. Your first investment is a nine to five. That's your investor. Mm, your first investor is fire. a job, nigga. Use that money Pause to start. I, I only other person I've ever heard say this before is Curtis King. Mm. If you, as an aspiring creative, as an aspiring entrepreneur, as an aspiring 
uh, church planter, whatever you, whatever you are aspiring to do. Mm -hmm. Church planting is entrepreneurial as well. If you view your current employer not as someone that's your opposition, someone that you're mad at, but you view them as a venture capitalist, yeah, you you view them as your seed investor to give you money to sustain yourself while you build out your side hustle. That's that's a, that's a totally paradoxical view that most people have of most. Yeah, they're like, my employer, they're going to be part of my come-up story. I worked this dead-end job, right. and I left it. And working all day! <laughs> I've been working all day! And pay! <laughs> are funding the shit that you actually want to do. I'm not saying f jobs or f work or anything like that, but people took that Jeez, as me so saying, I'm, I, I got money, how come you don't? <laughs> like, what the f How could you even get that out of what I'm saying? I'm saying, work your fucking nine-to-five. Do that shit. But when you get off that job, you got to keep working. Not for... not. That's fire. I think uh, it's also not... I don't think it's a binary. I don't think yes. it's you come home and it's scorched earth and you never see your kids, you never see your wife, or you don't pursue anything and it's just you just hang out with your family and have like live like a, a normal average life. Mm -hmm. I it's like you could also do what he's saying in moderation mm -hmm. and be like, oh, I, I'm gonna communicate to my wife and allocate these X amount of days per week per week that I spend my evenings. Uh, working on this thing but then there's still these days where mm -hmm. i open that up or mm -hmm. if like oh it's valentine's day i don't gotta go scorched earth today i'm gonna hang out with my wife mm -hmm. you know like, mm -hmm. there's but you're just okay with it being like oh it's gonna be a little bit slower yes but it's still progress it's yes. working towards something versus like what he's saying going home just complaining about mm -hmm. not making it and then but also not trying anything yeah yeah I, it's how i always talk about it is you you work to eat in the interim Mm. And then you sow to reap for the next season. And some people, by the way, just work to eat and then they sow to reap in their retirement. Like they're sowing to reap because... Dave Ramsey model. Dave Ramsey model. You invest $100 from age 20 to age 70, you'll be, you'll be a multimillionaire. $100 <laughs> a month, you 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 can flip that into a multimillion. That's crazy to That's think nuts. about. Yeah. Right? And now you could do that easier than ever through an app like Wealthfront or Fidelity. You can set up a Roth IRA, do it right now. That's if you don't have a side hustle, dream, entrepreneurial bone in your body, you could just do that and retire a multimillionaire, right? Now, you could also invest a little bit of that time that you normally would spend doing other stuff into mm -hmm. developing yourself and developing new skills. You're you're sowing to reap for the next season. Those skills can give you... The skills that you're developing can help you develop that idea that you have. Mm -hmm. That idea you have can turn into that business that you want to start or that thing you want to eventually replace the day-to-day -day job. Yeah, and the, and the people that T-Pain's talking about too are a lot of people that have something uh, like, I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that, mm -hmm. or or uh, th there's no there's nothing I can do that can make me rich. Meanwhile, they're playing a video game that they've collected over like 175 hours in mm -hmm. and have become very skilled mm -hmm. at that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I actually think a lot of people have the thing on the side at night that, they're, that they do, mm -hmm. Um, and they just decide whether they want that to be leisure or not, mm. but usually it's still building some sort of skill. That's good. You know, so it's like, you might just look at that and be like, oh, I'm going to reallocate. Like for me, I love watching the uh, MMA and the UFC fights, mm -hmm. but I got to know so much about it and become like a, an, an analyzer and, mm -hmm. and watching it and keeping up with it where it was like. I'm going to miss this, but I can have this when I'm retired. Mm -hmm. I can have my barbecue days with the UFC. But like right now in my 20s, let me reallocate the all the time I am spend learning the UFC and, and keeping up with the fights and watching the mm -hmm. fights and mm -hmm. being passionate about that and reallocate that same amount of energy into something else in the evening. You said video games. You mm -hmm. know what I thought about? How much learning new skills is kind of like playing a video game. A hundred percent. I'm relearning how to use Pro Tools because I'm in mixes and Pro Tools and I just want to make that easier for him and I also want to learn something new. Yeah. And it's it's a lot like learning to play a video game. Because when you figure it out and you play it through right. the the what you just mixed, yeah. you're like, whoa, I yep. did it. It you sounds it. like the, the song I was referencing. That's right. That's right. Thanks so much for watching that video. Guys, I believe that one of the best ways you can build a business is by first building a platform online. So Zach Sparazzo put together a free training for you on the number one metric you can be looking for to explode your YouTube platform. Click the link in the pinned comment below so you can start that now. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.